Buena Vista, Colorado. It's not just hiking for keeners, backcountry skiing, snowmobiling, jeep trailing and more. It is enormous amount of phenomenally spectacular wild critters. We love them so much. Hopefully you will like them as well.
It is middle of April. It's still snowing outside, but our hummingbirds are already here. This little fluffy fellow's name is Pete. He's been with us for five seasons now. The syrup in the feeder is half frozen, but that's just alright. It's plenty to eat. This little fluffy critter just flew from Mexico. It's not very close, about 2000 miles. It took Pete about four days to fly here, and now he entirely depends on our feeders because there is not too many flowers around as you could see. We know Pete for four years, so he knows us as well. He is so well trained that sometimes when he's in a good mood you could almost pet him. And these are my wild turkeys. They live around my house for about five years as well. They live, eat and play. Yes, these are my wild turkeys. And any casual observer could say, yeah, they're pretty wild. Every morning they fly to me from the other side of the river, then I feed them and then they play. This season I have 45 of them. Each female turkey weighs about 20 pounds and each male turkey about 25. So to feed that many is pretty tall order. They fly to me every season from the mountains at the beginning of September and they stay till the middle of April. Every night after supper Turkeys fly on the other side of the river. They live on the tall spruces on the very tops, so they feel very, very safe. But the very next morning, they surely will come back to eat the food I give them always. It's special and it's tasty. Our owl's name is Margaret, and she is a little groggy every morning. She lives right next to my house, and this season she's got three babies. Usually it's only two. Tough life. The name of our Colorado deer is Steven. Steven got two brothers, Benjamin and Joshua. Benjamin is trained as well as a dog. He walks right in the middle of Buena Vista. And Joshua is not very shy either. If he wants to eat, he does it with passion. Our red fox named Cindy is always in tip-top physical shape. Look for yourself, it's plenty of exercises around. Around our house, and sometimes even inside the house, we have plenty and plenty of all kinds of hamsters. Big ones, small ones, striped, straight, fluffy, all kinds. And since we have few hundred of those guys, you realize that even though they are small, it's not very easy to feed them all. The hamsters will pick the food right from our hands, and when they see our car approaching, they will run to us from miles and miles away. Our hamsters are so well trained that you could pet them anyhow you like. You could rub their bellies, you could rub their anything, they will love that as well. When you look at such a critter, you could only say, yes, this is the hamster.
spurs in my saddle I'm gonna drink my coffee from a mug This is our muskrat. Her name is Isabella. Isabella is usually pretty wet and undeniable. She might look like a rat, but if you look closer, she is simply beautiful. Meanwhile, our baby owls getting bigger by the minute. And this little bat my wife found right behind the electrical switch. Now it's daytime, so she's asleep. I would say almost asleep. But towards the evening, I'm sure she'll be ready to fly as well. Bats do fly. How about you? Try it. Well done. Bon voyage. Our owl Margaret is almost exhausted. What can I say? Three babies, not the easy task. And this is our osprey. His name is Bill. Bill is the fish hunter. These birds are extremely rare, and yet Bill is our neighbor. Bill doesn't speak much English. He usually speaks osprey. And do you speak Osprey? We named our baby owls Tom, Ken and Jim. They grow incredibly fast. And they're not just getting bigger, they're getting much fluffier. Owl Margaret, long time gone from the nest. There's not enough room, what can you do? After a good, fulfilling lunch, my turkeys start to play tag. Then they play the balloon game, then tag again. They could do it for a long time. But not just my turkeys sometimes have mental stress problems. My hamsters are not too far off either. Who is there? How the heck do I know? Oh, I know. Look at Jim. He is sitting backwards. And this is Bob, our big hamster. Bob's got a very fluffy fur. Having that much hair, better stay in the shade. When the time comes, Bob sometimes a little bit shy. But that's okay. Better be shy than sorry. That's right. Get lost, will you? Our cutthroat trout's name is Lucy, and she is really like to swim. About 250 hummingbirds we usually have here in the summer months. They could easily drink up to 5 gallons of the sweet syrup per day. But even then, sometimes they think that it will be not enough food, so they'll become very noisy. But hummingbirds are not the only speak their own language. 
If you become closer friends to my turkeys, they'll tell you any story you want to know. Our hamsters, on the contrary, don't speak much. Who needs stupid and useless talk? Talking, 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 blah, blah, blah. As long as they have enough food, everything will be tip-top. Food, please, and the rest of the problems will be solved automatically. As for us, we treat hamsters like pets. And I don't think they mind at all. Soon autumn will come, time to fly back to Mexico. Don't really want to, but hey, we have to do that. The man's gotta do when the man's gotta do. Hopefully 30 feeders will help, better eat while it lasts. Hummingbirds are amazing that way that once they try their food, they will come to the same place year after year after year. And this you do not see every day. A small woodpecker doesn't want to share the food with the hamster and does everything in his power to get the hamster away. That's right, let's scare the hamster away. In that case, I'll have so much food I can't imagine. Time to make babies. Why not? I'm sure Isabella will like this idea quite a bit. It is late. Time to fly to bed. But next morning it's definitely time to fly back. Of course, it's breakfast time. The most amazing thing is that all five years while turkeys come to me, every morning I go to the river and cry, turkey, 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 and a minute later all those beautiful critters fly right to me. And look at this one, she landed so close to my feet that almost knocked me out. After arriving, it's surely time to have some snack and some drink. Meanwhile, our Osprey Bill speaks Austrian and he doesn't give a damn about some turkey, male or female at that. Now, imagine, if you are a hamster, would you behave like that or not really?
Fair enough. It's a lot of different awesome critters around my house. Nobody could tell what critter is the best. So, let them all and us live and prosper.
some western music Oh, give me land. Now, this is Colorado. Don't fence me in. Let me ride through the wide open spaces that I love. Don't fence me in. I want to be by myself in the evening breeze. Listen to the murmur of the cottonwood trees. Send me out forever, but I ask you please. Don't fence me in. My name is Mike Golden, and hopefully see you sometime soon here in Buena Vista. Oh my Cayuse, let me wander over yonder to see the mountain high. Take care, Philip. See you next time. Gaze at the moon until I lose my senses. Can't look at hobbles and I can't stand fences. Don't Goodbye, Bob. Fence Have a good winter. Oh, don't fence Jason in. He likes to fiddle around, folks.